everybody this is riti podar and i want to welcome you all to a new video and this time it's my most awaited video and it, i'm going to take you around my craft studio so let's get started uh, this is where i just entered from this door and right ahead of me i have my main working desk so let me show you around once let me pan my camera so that's a large window in the front and uh, my room is divided into two levels the upper one there which is still yet uh, incomplete so once it's done i'm going to give you a tour of that too but for now i'm going to give you a tour of the uh, lower level so and i have a ladder here so that's that and i do have a back section there so this is how my room looks and that's the door that i entered from and to the doors left i have another cubicle for my storage and then here i have another a uh, small uh, cupboard for my extras and here i have some more cupboards cabinets and this is my die cutting table and i do my embossing as well there so that's there so coming to my main working area this is how it looks so Girls, please excuse me if the video is a little shaky. It's because I'm handling my camera with my hand, one hand. So I'll try my best to keep it stable. But okay, here I have stored all my Copic markers in these colorful tins. So that's how I get these. And then down below, I have my bins where I have all my uh 6 by 4 and 3 by 4 uh 2 by 3 uh paper pads from prima and other brands journaling cards and such so that's there then beside that i have all my 6 by 6 paper pads so that's there okay and then down below i have this box is full of nothing just changed it so i have a few uh, mobile stands and all and this is just random use okay in this bin i have some card stock which are already uh, the into cards like i've cut them and uh, some of them are even folded so these are colored card stock which i don't use very often but then yes um, and then apart from my colored card stock i have my ranger tags and my prima doll tag pad so that's there then in this i have my visiting cards then okay this is a box where i keep all my extra store uh, you know uh, uh, images that i've stamped and die cuts which i keep in my projects then Uh, in this box, I have cards which are already uh, are ready to be given away. So they're all there. So that's there. And then below, I have a box of tissues and some envelopes that I can use if I want to mail something to someone. Then that is a box full of scrap paper. So that's there. And then down below, I have this large drawer. which is filled with my a4 paper pads from prima um, that's how i store my paper pads so these are all paper pads from prima then i have my gorgeous paper pad collection and all my 8x8 paper pads as well and some of my stickers stick uh, yeah stickers are also here so that's the thing. so this is one part of my front desk and then Okay, let me show you all the drawers first. So, this drawer holds all my stationery that I require. I mean, 
so from staplers to corner punches to fingertip and so on and then below that i have all my adhesives here and some reinforcers and stickers and here i have my most favorite tool my misty my envelope punch board and some rares and some extra rags and below my misty i have my jelly plate so that's there and underneath that i have my collection of washi tape and these are some gift stickers here is how i store my uh, hair dryers and heat tool and that's my blue one and this is where i keep my guillotine cutter the x cut so okay now this is how my desk looks and i try and maintain it and keep it as clean as possible so that's how this looks okay now let me show you what's in this long drawer I have my Kispers paper trimmer, my Martha Stewart scoreboards and a local found uh, trimmer as well with some of my long rulers. And that's just a rag. So that's there. And to my left, I have uh, my, uh, uh, my distressing foams and then I have all my black inks here. Got my white ink there as well so these are all my uh, black and brown inks that I use quite often okay and here on my desk I have some colored markers then here I have my uh, some stamps that I can use at the back of my projects so that's there and some random uh, pads and all I have my stencil there okay uh, this container um, I have been holding this container since a long time now and I've used this to store my gelatos, my Faber Castell brush pit markers, then I have some of these micron pens and some markers, permanent markers and these are my brand new Zig brush pens which are yet to be opened. I was waiting for a friend to get her uh, Zig markers so now that she's got it uh, we are going to play with these together so that's how I store these it's very convenient and uh, it becomes very easy if I'm working elsewhere I can just grab this caddy and uh, walk away with it so that's there and behind that I have my big crocodile the big bite uh, in this container I have my crocodiles and uh, sorry my ATG uh, and uh, my corner chomper, uh, my stamp and magic, and then I do have the scooper. So that's that, and some uh, tweezers. So okay, let me show you this uh, rotating thing here that I have made. This uh, I picked this up from a superstore, one of the lifestyle stores here, and. Uh, I've used it to keep all my essential tools that I need while I'm crafting and this becomes very handy I have everything together and uh, okay so let me show you I have all my uh, adhesives here and here I have all my stamp cleaners so what I've done is I have uh, used my strips of velcro to put these together and uh, so these bottles they stay in place and they don't fall off so that helps to keep them uh, in place and then I have separate bu uh, buckets tins for uh, different uh, supplies so here I have uh, you know I, I have all my colored pencils here then I have all my scissors in one place and here I have in this um, tin I have my other essential tools like my distressing tool uh, my pick me up then I have my bone folder etc and in this I have my Tim Holtz uh, I think this is the uh, sand block and this is my adhesive eraser and here I have my other adhesives 
so this is oh i mean i kind of really like this so that's there and then behind uh this this okay behind this i have this bin uh where i have uh, some folders in which i keep uh, you know some things for reference and uh, this is my color chart for my alter new roses so things like that I have here and then I have a few notebooks where I want to you know where I just store some uh, ideas and I write notes so that's there and here I have this blue basket in which I have my pre-folded and ready-made uh, ready cut cards in 4 by 6 and other sizes so that's there and um, behind that I have some more scissors and in this as you can see I have scraps of cardstock in this bin so that's there so this is what it looks like on my left and see it's really okay that's the view from my window okay down below uh, this cabinet is empty and here I have all my red tapes and some essential things, my stapler pins, my masking tape, etc. Then below that I have some extras and notepads and some doilies. And here I have all my extra stationery supplies. So all that is in here. Okay. This place holds all my uh, painting materials from acrylic paints to what paints and all that is here and this is my brand new Gansai Kambi set which I'm yet to open so I can just give you a sneak of this so okay so I can't wait to use these but I think I'm going to do uh, the, something with this maybe next week I'm a little tied up so okay so that was that i'm now coming to the back okay so on this table let me show you what all i have uh in this basket i have a few of my extra stuff that has just come in and i'm yet to put these away in their places so that's there uh then this is my cricket expression and i have it covered up all in this white cloth uh, okay, in this basket I have few of my stamps that I haven't been using since a long time. You know, I will make sure that I use them very soon. So that's how I've kept. That's why I've kept this there. And in here I have a lot of my swatches for my stamps, stencils, and this is the ink swatch that I have already uh, made a video on, and the link will be down below if you want to see. But I will be updating my uh, ink swatch book also. So I'll be doing a video again soon. Okay, so now coming down to these cupboards. Okay, in this uh, cupboard I have everything uh, cricket related. I have all my cartridges and my handbooks, etc. Sorry. Okay, and okay. Here I have some extra scraps of paper and some cardstock. So and my watercolor bag. Uh, then here I have some more papers and cardstocks, colored paper and cardstocks in A4 size. So that's there. And here I have some more cardstocks. Okay. This is where I store all my ribbons and twines. This cupboard is in a mess, but I'm trying to, you know, put these ribbons and twines in a better way. So when i get that uh, organization idea i'm going to soon uh, show it to you all so but for now i'm holding these in my uh, cartons and boxes so okay so let me show you what i have on my front uh, desk and this is uh, what i have got done this is the wall mount uh, you know i i measured each and every uh, compartment that I wanted according to what I needed to keep so that's how I have customized my uh, organizing unit and that's how it looks and I'm super happy to and I feel really blessed 
and I thank God for giving me everything that I want. I couldn't be more thankful. So let me show you around. Uh, okay, let me start from the top. I have, as you can see, I have all my Lindy stamp bag sprays and some. Um, I have cosmetic, uh, cosmic shimmer mist as well, and this, uh, these I got from Joanna Shee. Sorry, yeah, that's called Joanna Shee. But now, unfortunately, they don't ship to India, so that's there. But I still like my Lindy Stamp Gang more. So, and down below, I have my Prima Color Blooms. I just have a few, so that's there. And then I have some distress stains and my reinkers in this basket. So that's there. Then down below, I have my Ken Oliver color bursts, and I'm waiting for the new released ones to come to India so that I can fill up my space here. So I have all the six colors which were initially released. So that's there, and I think I'm going to be working with those today. So let's see how they turn out to be. Then uh, here I have one of my most favorite markers, which I have been holding since nine, almost nine years, and even now they work like wonders. So this is from Sukineko, and uh, this is called the Emboss Jewel Pen. So these are just fabulous, and I have just a few colors. And uh, here I have some of these uh, foam pads, which were, you know, uh, which came in. Uh, with brads and all so I use them for my flower making when I have to punch the centers so you know these come in handy so that's there then I just have a few washcloths to wipe things and uh, these are fun they're adding color so I don't mind putting them here okay then I have my distressing tools here in this basket and here I have my embossing powders which I use quite occasionally so sorry quite frequently so here's my most uh, favorite powder, which are uh, black, white, silver, then platinum, liquid platinum and gold by Ranger and a clear one. So that's there. And here I have my embossing tool, my distress uh, embossing ink and my Versamark ink. So I have everything related to my embossing. Uh, yeah. Okay, then uh, let me go above that. As you can see, I have all my distress crackle paints in here, and then I have my brand new dilution paints here. So that's there. And above that, I have all my distress paints in that blue basket. And let me show you. I have I have put on uh, the color swatches on the caps of each bottle, and it becomes very easy when I want to when I'm working on a project. I just bring this basket down, pick up the color that I want to choose, use it and I can just shove it back in. So I don't have to hunt for a particular color. So that's there. And above that I have my mica powders. Let me show you this. Okay. And the best part about these bins are like they come in with these dividers and uh, this becomes very easy you know when you want to segregate things like I have done here so I have all my Lindy Stamp Gang color shots here then my perfect medium perfect pearls here and this side has my Lindy Stamp Gang magical so everything is sorted so I don't have to hunt for anything in particular so it's basically very very easy to find and when things become easier to find you, you feel like crafting and then you know you do, you do feel like you know keeping it back in space so that next time when you want it you know you get it there so that's there and then here i have my prima chalk inks uh, chalk edges in these two bins so that's how i store them and uh, then here in these wooden boxes i have my alphabet stamps so I have them in both the cases, the lower and the upper case, so that's how they look. These I got from Bangkok uh, for my recent holiday, so it came in pretty cheap, I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. these were like available everywhere. So, and here I have my uh, Fiskars stamping stamp press. Then here 
I have my color box cats I eat so this is how I store them so distress ink pads and I have sorted them according to the color family so that's how it looks okay. and then below that I have my other ink pads so let's start from the extreme right I have my ranger dye inks and uh, I have these stickers with the ink swatch so it becomes very easy and I've written the type of ink on the outside so you know i mean I, since the packaging is almost the same you know it becomes easy for me to locate the ink that i'm looking for so that's how i have uh, you know organized my ink pads so that's there these are my archivals then my most uh, my favorite things hybrid inks uh, then uh, these are some extra stamps uh, inks i'm yet to make swatches for these so I'm going to do that today and then I have my long fawn dye inks and these are my hero art sombre inks here I have my memento lux and here I have all my hero art shadow inks and this is another Sukineko product which I love and these are the neon inks so that's there all my inks are here and uh, to my left there are some more inks and these are all the mini ink cubes that I have. I'll just show you. Okay, so these are all my memento dew drops. And uh, I have a color chart also here. So, you know, it becomes quite easy. And I've stored them in these boxes. So, it becomes very easy. You know, if I just want to travel with these. So, that's there. And I have some more inks. So, these are my brand new PTI inks. And I'm yet to... Uh, make a color swatch for this box but I have made a swatch for my ink swatch book and I'm going to share that soon so that's how I keep these mini ink pads here okay and then here I have my uh, stamp scrubber and this is my technique to use clear stamp scrubber so and guys if you don't have this it's a must to have for all the stampers because it helps to keep your stamps clean and uh, thereby you know it elongates the life of your stamps so it's a big 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 recommendation from me okay uh, you guys must be thinking why do I have some empty space here but that's for some more ink pads that are going to come to me soon which I have placed an order for so that's how I have uh, you know that space empty and here I have my color box and my memento inks, dye inks. So, okay, on top of that, I just have a small box of candies, chewies. And uh, here I have all my glitters, all my stickles. And above that, okay, I'll show you this basket. I have my, um, I have a whole lot of embossing powders here, my Ranger embossing pen and my UT. I have some fun flock also. So that's there. And sorry, fun flocks are here. Okay, so that's there. Okay, these are all the embossing powders that I don't use very, very frequently, but I do like to use them sometime or the other. And I have my um, Stampin' Doors shabby chic embossing powders also so i use them once in a while so i keep them separately and then i have my uh, what do you call this funnel tray as well so that's there okay 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 now on the left corner i have a few mediums and chalkboard paints my gesso, mod pod, etc. And then down below, I have some more mixed media uh, stuff, my, all my mediums there. Then here also, I have my 
extra stuff like glossy accents, my uh, perfect pearl mists, my UT, etc. Then what's in there? I think these are the dry glitter. Yeah, my distress glitters, etc. Okay. And in this purple bin, I have all my clear blocks, stamping blocks. So that's there. Okay, so girls, the front of my panel has been done. And now let's move to the left. Okay, so starting from this area, I have this acrylic drawer set and I store all my sponge daubers here. And I have a lot of space left so I can, you know, store in some more. Then I have a few more smaller ink pads here and here as well. And some more. So it becomes easy. I can just take these drawers out, finish my work, and then I can put these back together. I have my distress markers there and then some baby wipes. Okay, then here I have my markers, pens and pencils. Uh, some glitter pens etc and this is my visiting card okay and some aurora washi tape here okay. then here i have my alcohol inks and the blending solution in this basket so that's there and some scotch tape some masking tape and i have a candle here and then here i have all my brushes according to the type so that's there. Then beside that I have all my mixed media spatulas and tools and uh, my foam brushes etc. And uh, then I have all my glass glitters in this, in this basket and I have my diamond dust. So that's there. So yeah. show you the second part in my next uh, part so for now I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you have any questions do uh, let me know them in the comment section below if you like my video do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye